Here we are at Cliff Mine in the Keweenaw Peninsula of Michigan, and we're here to look at two fascinating things, both of which you can see behind me. First of all, a little bit on the geology of the Keweenaw Peninsula. Well, the rocks here are part of the mid-continent rift system. This is where 1.1 billion years ago, North America started splitting apart. And when this happened, huge eruptions of basaltic lava occurred, creating numerous lava flows in this area. These lava flows ended up hosting the world's largest known native copper deposits. And that's one of the things we see behind us is Cliff Mine. Those piles of rock back there are the waste rock of that mine. It was the first successful mine to exploit some of those native copper deposits way back in 1845. Now the other reason we're here is to take a look at that giant cliff back there. That is part of the greenstone flow. The greenstone flow is one of the lava flows of the mid-continent rift system. Now in this mid-continent rift, so we had all these lava flows coming out and they weigh a lot. So the center of that rift, which is now in the middle of Lake Superior, basically got bowed downward. So this greenstone flow we can see here, and we can actually trace it under Lake Superior, and you can also see it on Isle Royal, off that way. The other reason this greenstone flow is fascinating is it is the world's largest known individual lava flow. There's over 1,600 cubic kilometers of basaltic lava erupted. And in places, this lava flow is as much as 500 meters thick. Now, how did it get that thick? It's thought that there were times when it ponded in the middle of that mid-continent rift and sat there as this like magma ocean that could have taken thousands of years to cool down. And that is what we see behind us there. 